two Voyager spacecraft were launched in 1977 on a journey to the outer giant outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989, and from then on, the two spacecraft were on their interstellar mission headed to the edge of interstellar space. The Voyager spacecraft will be human, humanity's first interstellar probes. They will be the first to go outside the region that's filled with material from our own star and the first steps into interstellar space. Voyager 1 has reached a historic milestone. It has crossed outside of the supersonic solar wind across what we call the termination shock into a slow wind area which we call the heliosheath where the solar wind is much slower, much thicker, and much hotter than it was just before the shock. Voyager now is uh, almost a hundred times as far from the sun as the Earth is, so the sun is very dim, one ten thousandth as bright as it is here at Earth, and of course the planets are just specks of light in the great distance as Voyager drifts ever further into space. We listen to the two Voyager spacecraft every day because they're measuring the magnetic fields in the solar wind, they're measuring the wind itself, how fast it's moving on Voyager 2. They're measuring the energetic particles, the fast ions which are in the outer solar system, and they're measuring the waves in the wind itself, the plasma waves. The termination shock is a source of energetic electrons which stream along the magnetic field and cause the plasma, the solar wind itself, to oscillate. And that can be picked up right in the audio range where, in fact, the stream of electrons are telling us that we're getting very close to the shock. Voyager 1 will reach the edge of interstellar space in about 10 years. Voyager 2 will likely find the shock perhaps in another three years, and then it will take it another 10 years to go through the helio sheath to reach interstellar space. We're very fortunate that the power supply on the spacecraft are radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which will continue powering the two spacecraft until at least the year 2020. It's a very exciting mission to be on because what science is about is learning new things about nature. And when you go places no spacecraft has been before, you're almost bound to learn something that no one knew before.